what does it mean to be an ambassador? I think one of the fascinating pictures that the Bible uses for God's people is he says that we're ambassadors, which is amazingly enough, it's a term that we still use today, that we send people from one nation to another to represent us, or we send a person to represent us in a meeting to speak on our behalf. In other words, um, we have people who we believe have the authority to be able to speak up for us. The question is always this, who speaks for God in the world? And this week we're talking about serving and we're talking about what does it mean to be one who served. But before that, we need to know this, that sometimes we're the ones who are sent. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, beginning in verse 20, uh, Paul is writing to the church and he says this, So we are ambassadors for Christ. Since God is making his appeal through us, we entreat you to be on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. That means that we're actually the ones who are representing Jesus here on earth. If you're a Christian, your responsibility is to represent Jesus to other people. So the question is this, what does it look like to do that? We're talking about we were made for good works. We were made for other people. But as we um, present ourselves, as we care for other people, know this, that part of God's plan for you is that people would know who Jesus is through who you are. So I want to ask today, how can you represent Christ in your community, in your family, in your neighborhood, so that other people might know the Lord through you? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you give us opportunities to share your love with one another. Teach us to do this in all kinds of new ways and remind us that we get to be your representatives. Uh, we're, we, we're so thankful for that privilege, and we pray now that you would surround us. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.